this is the next part for Jomon. So, we found one magic site, the Gallows. Great, another death gem. That's actually really big, that means we don't have to waste those gems alchemizing, because we won't get to, um, we won't be at 77 gems on that turn. We'll have uh, 11 more gems, so we'll actually be at 88 when we cast Well of Misery. Assuming, of course, we roll a lucky Dione. Um, yeah, anyway. So, the oh, I'll show the rest of the events. Uh, got some Blood Slaves, which is nice. Uh, the Eddie, I'm here attacking Pan. So this is just a bunch of wolf brothers, which are uh, pretty decent units. They have high defense, high-ish attack, you know, strength sucks, the protection sucks. They're not great, but they're alright. You can get six attacks per square with these things. Um, they are going up against a wall of spearmen, uh, and more importantly, some of these are his sacreds. Just as a reminder, this is playing Pan's Bless, Magic Weapons, Defense Skill. And he's got a lot of crossbowmen in the back. Um, See, so yeah, I mean, Vedion's just kind of getting unlucky here. I mean, he's he routed some of the indies. But, what's going on with these guys? So they're berserking. Yeah, they, um... They... They don't actually kill a single unit. Amazingly. Uh, there was a lot of friendly fire. A lot of nasty friendly fire, too. Killing six of the sacreds. Ouch, that's 180 gold down the drain. So, uh, here is just killing some province defense, and uh, Bog had his pretender reawaken, I suppose. Um, he cast summon earth power, phoenix power, iron skin, mist form, and then he attacks. So he's slowly gaining fatigue every time he attacks. He gains little fatigue, even though he is killing pretty efficiently. Yeah, I mean, and at this point they're just slowly chipping him down. Even with 28 protection, there are some attacks of theirs that are piercing. So they ignore 20% of his, uh, of his armor. So it is possible for them to ping him a little bit if they do a thrusting attack. Wow, I'm really surprised that, uh, Bog lost this battle. I mean, yeah, he is taking little bits of chip damage, but he's killing. How does he lose this? He even, he even made their commander retreat? Oh. Well, okay, well one of them popped the mist form. He got a big crit that popped the mist form, and then what? And then he started, he failed a morale check? Really? With 30 morale, he failed his check. See, and then his stats just crater. And then as soon as he sees an opening, he runs for it. That's that seems kind of silly to me. Like 
Agartha has no commander left on the field. Or wait, does he? He has a. He, I I know the the gate guard ran away. And this is his uh, his cave captain. Does he just sit in the back all the time? Well, whatever. I don't care to watch that whole thing again, but. Yeah, that seems kind of stupid that he didn't take that province. But anyway, good to know uh, Agartha plopped down 30 province defense on it. And honestly, good thing that Pretender isn't coming back. <laughs> um, here's just a big goblin army attacking Pangea. He's got um, a lot of mages with this army. A lot of commanders. He's got a horror-marked commander with this army. That seems very dangerous. What if he got pinged? What if a, a horror came out and hit him? Hit this whole army? Wouldn't that be a disaster? Anyway, this is mostly just a lot of crossbowmen. Crossbowmen, some rock throwers, tiny little front line, some chaff. Nothing too interesting. I guess he has a lot of necromancers. Uh, here's Pan killing some barbarians and just cleaning up some more random provinces. And then I was actually attacked by the Ill Winter spawn. You can see these are the giants that will appear and will attack you. These guys are pretty intense, really tanky, they hit super hard, and they have really great stats. Um, mostly because they are in this cold province, and they'll only get stronger. Um, or will they get stronger? I don't know, maybe this already is cold 3. R regardless, these things will... <laughs> Actually, wow, weaken this guy with the uh, first hit. One of these peasants did a very good jab. Yeah, that's a pretty nice affliction to hit on him, lowers, lowers his strength. But anyway, these things are fast and brutal, and they just kill off all my PD. And then we got a uh, spring flood, killing our crops. And we got some new trade routes, more province income. A couple scouts were killed, and we killed a couple scouts in turn on Jomon itself, including one of Bog's units, this seductive bird woman. Now, the... Uh, Summoned Illwinter things just ran away after the battle, so it was no big deal. They just left. Oh, and as you can probably tell, I'm invading Pangea this turn. Uh, I don't have a lot of armies, a lot of conventional armies in position. Like, I am sending this army down here. It's got eight communion slaves. Um... All of the Master Shugenjas are casting Strength of Giants and Legions of Steel. And I've got a bit of a communion that is going to be casting air, um, arrow buffs, wind guide, uh, flaming arrows on these units. And I am bringing a ninja who will carry... Well, why is that guy on attack? Please don't attack. Who is that? Was there someone attacking here? Was a ninja attacking? Oh no, he, he's, his command is to attack, but he's not actually attacking. Well, you don't need to stay there anymore, dude. You can, you can leave. No, I'm just gonna push out Masamoto somewhere. Maybe he can find someone and kill him. Um, outside of that. Uh, nothing else really going on, just invading Pangea. Oh yes, yeah, so the nature of all these fights. Basically, they're just Ryujins walking in, summoning an earth elemental, and then buffing themselves. Or fire, or a water elemental, sorry. Summoning a water elemental. And then that's it, just taking the province. I know the PD on all of these is 10. I think a water elemental can beat 10 PD. And if the water elemental should happen to get around the... If the PD should happen to get around the water elemental, this guy is probably good enough to beat off Militia. I mean, he has four attacks. 
uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really worried. I'm having them all cast like Quicken Self and whatever other protection buffs I can give them. The Earth ones being the most tanky with Iron Skin. But also this guy, for example, he can cast Personal Regeneration, which is nice. Um, yeah, gonna take this whole lake. Gonna take all the land that Pangea stole from me, except this province. Um, many turns ago. Mm, still forging stuff. Still researching. Moving out my big armies that I've been building on these provinces for a while. Uh, get these guys going over here, and I want this guy to pick up the horror-marked troops and get these units out of my lands, just like suicide them into this throne. Uh, otherwise, still sight-searching. I've sight-searched almost every province of mine for death, and my gem income went up again a little bit, which is good. And it'll go up more, a lot more, next turn when I take all these provinces and get back my... Uh, get back my, uh, um, I'm actually going to summon a Bakaneko and hope for a death one, so that way I can have it search these provinces for death. Um, you don't need to be holding those. Bakaneko. Oh yeah, I am having the Adept of the Iron Order summon a... Ujigami. Ujigami. It's cut off at the screen, the bottom for me. Ujigami. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, you're. You need to be researching. Just have this guy wear these shoes. He doesn't need to wear the crown. Yeah, I am sending these two pretty heavily geared guys into some dicey situations. This guy's walking into this province, which I know has uh, this has 11 PD, some crappy hoplites, and then some crossbowmen. So he is going in with a helmet, first off. Don't want his dumb dragon head getting popped. He's got armor of knights, very durable. Uh, he's got an extremely powerful weapon, defensive shield, he's gonna quicken himself so I don't need to cast that. Actually, yeah, then he doesn't, I shouldn't have him cast that. Uh, same for the other guy too, I guess I just sort of passed over that. He can cast fire shield though. Uh, where's the other guy? Uh, he's going up here to hit this province. Again, don't need to cast. Quicken self, you're already quickened. Anyway, yeah, just working down Conjuration somewhat quickly. Uh, I, I kind of am tempted to stop and go for Golems, because that would be a nice way to just spend my Astral Pearls that I'm accumulating. Could pump out two Golems, give them an Astral little hat, and then uh, fire brands for both of them. Uh, maybe a Vine Shield or some, some other sort of shield. And I can give them the armor. It's all pretty cheap stuff. Um, yeah, and then they can just like wreck havoc, and they can teleport too. That's that opens up a whole new strategic layer that I've not been able to capitalize on yet. That being able to teleport around onto provinces. I suppose this feeble old man could do that. But as I mentioned, he is a feeble old man. <laughs> He's not. I'm not going to have this guy go out and fight. Uh, we'll have a fortress done here next turn. So we can get another commander point. Yeah, so otherwise just flying a bunch of dragons over to take a bunch of provinces. I try to prefer provinces that I knew would not be... Um, like, he's not going to walk troops onto them, probably. I think he's going to take this army and go to one of these places. Like, these armies are all preoccupied with the goblin player. So I think I can take all these pretty safely without worry. 
Uh, the issue, the the worry is really what does he have on these forts? Because I don't know. Maybe he is going to move this army from this fort over here in response to seeing my armies move up on his border. Maybe he's going to walk over here. I, I don't know what he's going to do with them. Uh, and yeah, I'm not also not sure what he's planning on doing over here with all this stuff. Hopefully the water I can take uh, with no issue. I don't know what happened to this province, why it doesn't have a flag anymore. Uh, I hope there's no horrors there. Because um, that would lead poor Narihiro to his doom. Yeah, anything else of note? I suppose not. It is summer, so I'm back to heat one. Which I guess is fine. Um, yeah, all these problems. No, okay, so that was cold three. So that's as strong as the ill winter giants get. But yeah, they just sort of poofed out of existence after taking that province. I'm not sure if they're supposed to hang around or if they can't siege a fort. Then they just disappear. Anyway, should have a big battle next turn. I mean, we'll have a lot of battles next turn, but. Presumably, this one will go in my favor. Hopefully, Agartha does not attack me. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing with all these things. He's moving some armies back. Um, so maybe he's... Old Blind Man the Ghost King. Oh, is that his pretender? Yeah, it is. His pretender is a ghost king. I see. Hmm. Well, that's... Uh... That's good intel to know. That is definitely someone that my... Uh, can this guy go kill him? The nah, draw blood. It's not going to do anything against a... Not going to do anything against a ghost. But it is a magical attack. Yeah, so hopefully I can nab this fort, and it's great that Pan did not storm it last turn, because now that gives me an opportunity to storm it, and maybe I can snipe this uh, fort, which would be really big for power projection in this region, of which I don't have very much, like basically this is my core, and this province is like, eh, I can't really hold it from any serious attempt to take it. I guess I should raise, raise the PD in these provinces so I prevent a bad event from spawning. I guess it's kind of pointless. It'll just die to uh, ice giants. But then, then again, all my provinces will just die to ice giants. So what difference does it make? I sure have found a lot of magical gems this game. I believe I'm at 45 now. Yeah, but I actually haven't found that many magical gems. Like, with the amount of sight searching I've done, I feel like I've gotten screwed. I've gotten an unlucky hole. But that's alright. That'll change. Next turn.